What's up guys, it's Matt, the overall bargain hunter here. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I go out and hunt for bargains and try to flip them for a profit. I go to different thrift stores, I go to flea markets, I go to estate sales, sometimes I'll go to retail stores and search their clearance sections. Today I'm actually going to be picking up an Amazon mystery box from a gentleman that's here in town. I've actually bought one from him before. I've been in touch with him a couple times but haven't made another purchase. Today I'm gonna meet him and he said that it's a rather large box that he's gonna do for $30. So hopefully there's some good stuff in there. Again, if this is your first time checking it out, make sure you watch till the end. At the end I do a breakdown of my potential profit and what I've spent. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's see how it goes. Headed up to go pick up the mystery box. Luckily the guy doesn't mind meeting me too far from my house so it shouldn't take me very long to get there, which is nice especially with the gas prices right now. I'm excited to see what we find, so let's check it out. So I'm excited to meet with this guy. I bought a mystery box from him about two months ago for $35. He had it posted for $40. I've messaged him a couple times just to ask if he's still doing them. He said that every now and then he will, but we haven't linked up again since then. Last time I got like some blankets and some different stuff and I did really well with those blankets and I kind of told him about that and he did tell me that there's probably not going to be any blankets in there because he hasn't had any of those, which is okay. I'm still excited about the mystery to see what I get and for $30 I figured it's worth it so we'll see how it goes. the next thing you'll see I'll have the box I'll kind of show you what it looks like and then I'm excited to get home and open it up and we'll see what we find so I just met with the guy and got the mystery box it's about the same size as it was last time but it's definitely bulging uh, over packed and he also said that he couldn't fit this in here if I wanted it I could have it it's a broom and dustpan set so it's not a lot of mystery I will open it up to make sure everything's in there when I get home I'm excited to get in there and open the box and see what's in there so let's make it back home and check it out. All right, we made it home. We're gonna open this mystery box and see what's in there. The first thing that I'm gonna do is open up this piece that he said didn't fit in there, which was this broom and dustpan set. All right, so it looks like it's all in there. I just have to screw it all together and everything like that. This was a nice thing for him to throw in. All right, so here comes the big moment. The opening of the mystery box. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take everything out and then we'll go through it. But I could already see right at the top, there's some pretty cool items. There's a big mouth Billy Bass, which looks brand new a lavalier microphone. So there's definitely some good stuff in here right off the top. I'm already excited by what I see. But let me get everything out and then we'll go through and get the comps for everything. All right. So I got everything out. We'll look at the first two things that I already kind of mentioned because they were there at the top. So there is this Big Mouth Billy Bass. It works. The box is in like brand new condition. So I'll bring up the sold comps on this. Just the fact that the packaging is in such good shape is amazing to me. I think this alone will probably bring me $20, which is already over half of that box. But we'll look at the comp. The next thing that was at the top 
was this lavalier microphone and it's actually for a iPhone which when I go out and film I usually use my GoPro for audio but every now and then I do use my phone which is an iPhone so I might be able to use this but it might be something that I just end up selling so I'll bring up the comp so we can check that out. These are screen glasses, so like blue light screen glasses. It's a two pack for kids. I'll look it up to see what the comps are on here. All right, this is a mirror that attaches like to the back of a car seat, I believe. Not exactly sure. I'll look it up. The brand is Onco. So I'll look this up and see if I can find comps for it and exactly what it is like a NASCAR 3D puzzle. I've actually sold one of these. It wasn't a NASCAR, it was an NFL one. And I sold it for I think like $17 on eBay and the buyer paid shipping. So I'll probably get somewhere around that for this one as well. That's pretty cool. I've actually done okay with some Space Jam stuff out at my flea market spot. I've sold some coloring books and things like that. So this is probably something I'll take out there. It's not in the best condition. So probably like a dollar or so. Another lavalier microphone. This one is a 3.5 millimeter jack. I know that the lavalier microphones sell for between 10 and $20. So I'll look up these specific brands and just in those two microphones, I might already have made my money back. All right, just like last time, there's some boxes that are kind of Mystery box is inside the mystery box. So these are little doorknob handles. They're actually pretty nice. Hopefully I'll be able to do well with these. It looks like there's two of them in there. All right, next up is a mist maker. Not exactly sure what this is. I'll look it up online, see what the comps are, and try to read a little bit more about it. All right, we have some stereo wiring, a harness for a Toyota from 82 to 2018. It's all new in the package here, so I'll look up the sold comps on this as well. All right, another mystery box in my mystery box. This is a two pack of filters. I don't know if I'll be able to sell these because I don't know what they go to so it's going to be hard for me to list them. I'll try to look it up to see if I can find something specific. There is a barcode on one of them so I'll scan it and see if it brings anything up. Gaffer tape? I'm not exactly gaffer, I don't know how to say that. But I'll look this up and see what the sold comps look like. I did just sell some reflective dot .32 tape for like 20 bucks. So maybe it'll be another tape like that that'll go really well. Alright, these are smartwatch bands it is for a Fitbit Versa I could either sell them individually or maybe sell it on eBay as a six-pack so these are a set of 12 ounce boxing gloves I'll look up the comps on this but this is a good find so what's funny about this comb I think I have this exact comb that I had found in an earlier video something that my mom had found I think for a dollar or two dollars and I have it posted on eBay I think it's posted for like five dollars I haven't been able to sell it but it's interesting that it's the exact same comb it's the legend wooden comb I don't know that I'll be able to sell it because I have one that hasn't been able to sell but that's still pretty cool and even if I only get a dollar for it I'm still already gonna make some profit on that all right, looks like another mystery box. This one is taped shut, so let's cut this guy open. Looks like a set of bowls that are like light blue and white. They actually look pretty nice. So it's a set of six. They're all intact, so it seems. Doesn't have a brand or anything on there, but they're packaged really nice, so they're not broken. With only $30 invested, I really think I already made my money back just on those microphones. So everything else here is just profit. So a Thomas the Train Trackmaster. It's a Percy. And there is another Thomas and Friends. This is a peel and stick border, I guess for like a bedroom or something. It's 15 feet of border. This one is a premium ab roller. I go work out pretty much every morning and one of my trainers likes to bring ab rollers every now and then and they're one of my least favorite exercises to do but hopefully there's some value in it and I'll be able to sell it. I have a Berlin Modish. I'm not sure what this is. That would be like a really fancy door handle. Um, but I'll look it up and see. It looks like everything's in here. Got all the hardware and everything. 
So again, I've done some door handles before and done okay with them. So hopefully this is something that has some value. All right, the last thing, which was also, I think one of the things on top, it's a Hisa. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like a shoe box because there's a picture of a boot on the side. Yeah, Hisa waterproof insulated neoprene rubber boot. Hisa, I've never heard of that brand, but I'll look them up. The thing with shoes is it always depends on sizing to see if they sell well. These look like they're a size nine based on the bottom. Okay, it's a six, it's a US size six. It just look like a nine, but I guess it's a six because I was looking at it upside down. So these are a size six, which are pretty small, so I'm not sure how they'll sell, but I'll look up the comps. They might be something that are worth a lot. Sometimes boots are worth a lot. These are waterproof ones. So we'll check it out and see how we do. I think overall, all of this stuff was definitely worth it for 30 bucks. There is no way I'm not making my money back on this stuff. So when I edit this video, there'll be a counter and you already know how many items are in there, but I wasn't keeping track as I was going. So I'm not exactly sure how many items that was, but definitely worth that $30 investment. I don't know how that guy sells stuff for that cheap. Uh, he says that he orders uh, Amazon crates and then the stuff that doesn't sell he'll do in the mystery boxes or stuff that he just has been sitting on for a while but he'll include some stuff that he knows is good stuff in there but to me a lot of that stuff was really good stuff so i'm excited about getting this mystery box i think this was an amazing deal for 30 dollars uh, like i said i know that at least one of those items is probably going to make me the money back if not one then two items and then i still have all those other items so this was a great find. Definitely when he has one again, I'll probably do it again. Overall, I had a great time. I'm excited about the finds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys are awesome. I appreciate your support. This is Matt, the Overall Bargain Hunter, signing out. See you guys next time.